Local home building companies changing the game when it comes to materials and construction. Heather Lake live in La Jolla for us with all the details on this. Hi, Heather. Hey, so this is really, really cool. Um, you probably never thought of modular or prefab housing as something that you would think if you were going to build a home, but so many companies are kind of changing how those homes look. They look modern and now they're green. They're smart homes. And listen, the way that the builds are going right now, they're taking so much time. There's a lot of attention spent to this. So this is called Zvel, and I have Brandon Weiss with me. You're the co-founder. This is so interesting to learn about because we have some of the models to show people. They're beautiful homes. I don't think that people expect a modular or prefab home to look as modern as these do and you guys are changing the game when it comes to kind of what's going on inside the home explain what you guys are doing and how unique this company is yes yeah, so we really have a, a performance type proposition to what we do so we have really high level designs uh, then we have energy and human health and wellness performance that's really centric to what we do and then it's using a data centric uh, manufacturing process to really scale this business up and be able to deliver these at a high level of production rate out of our facility here. We have one now, but we're looking to expand that as we kind of dial in uh, factory number one. Yeah, so you're making them in Loma Linda. For people who don't understand what modular or prefab is, you pick those houses up after they're made and then you plop them down wherever you buy them and that's that's home. Um, you guys are doing something really interesting because there's been tons of fires, obviously, wildfires all, fires all over California, and it's taking a long time for people to rebuild their home. You guys are helping with just that, and we have a couple of details um, and photos for people to see what these homes look like when you rebuild. It could take only six months to build a home now. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. Like we're, we build them volumetric in our factory, so they ship off as a, as a large Vox uh, volume, and those get shipped to site 90% complete and really limited the site time. But what's also unique is that the foundation system can be happening at the same time we're building in the factory, so we overlap a large part of the construction process to really dial in that schedule. And you guys are using different materials. Obviously, we have a lumber shortage. We have a workforce shortage, all of these things. You guys are kind of able to... I wouldn't say cut corners, but skip a few things because you're making your homes with different materials and also it can help those homes survive a, a fire if a wildfire were to come through again. Yeah, again, building with a manufacturing process, we have all those materials we need. We can build that quick and easy. Um, but also, yeah, we, we pay a lot of attention to the chemicals that go into all the products we use. That's a big part of what we do and making sure we're building a healthy home for people. So looking for full transparency in our products is like number one choice. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't exist, we look for products that have been lab tested voluntarily by the manufacturer. So just looking for that higher level of uh, manufacturing partners or other material distribution companies to, to help us build these really uh, high level homes. And not using two by fours and a lot of lumber. What are you guys using? So our structure is built from like gauge steel, so that gives us a lighter weight structure to ship to site, which makes that part easier. It makes uh, any damage that would happen in transit less likely. Uh, it actually makes it more resilient to seismic, you know, earthquake type stuff or fires as well. So uh, looking at kind of holistically across the board and it makes it easy for us to repeat. You know, it's we ex actually make each and every piece at our factory. So we get these large coils of steel. We roll it out, make every profile ourselves, assemble them together, and then make that process volumetric. So it's so interesting. I mean, some of these builds are taking years right now, obviously. When you look at the real estate market, these are taking six months, everything from a 400 square foot kind of tiny home that you could see to 3,000 square feet. Um, and some of the prices too, I think that's one question everybody at home probably has. Well, how expensive are these? What is the range when you look at, say, a tiny home to one of a large home Home for you know a family of four to six. Yeah, I mean the smaller you go, the the you know there are more things that exist in a smaller space. So uh, price per square foot is not a great way to look at building products. But uh, I'd say in kind of our average size home, we're probably in the 225 to 250. Uh, starting point, we're looking to decrease that down to 200 in the near future as we scale. Okay, how are people finding you before we go back to the studio? Because I know there's just so, I mean, it's so interesting that someone would yeah. find you and say, I'd like to build my home this way as opposed to with a regular contractor. People come to us for all different reasons, really. Like, they love our designs, first and foremost. Uh, you know, they're on our website. You know, they'll, they'll kind of find us organically that way. Also, we have gotten other press for um, the human health and wellness things we do. Um, that's really a large part of it. Uh, also, we're energy neutral in that we have uh, solar and batteries on every single one of our homes, so we can outlive grid outages for extended periods of time, ah. um, which in California with the fire seasons is a really big deal. So. Oh my gosh, we could talk about this for half an hour. Um, I can't steal that amount of time from you, and they won't let me either. I was looking at the tiny home, um, Raul and Shali. It's like a 400 square foot. Like, could you plop that down in my backyard so when I'm sick of my kids and my husband, I just walk out. outside and I hang out in my own little house Brilliant. in the backyard? You got one of those ready for me? We have 130 of them going up to. Oh, 
Wow. Is out, so if you want to go there, Perfect. I'm waiting for you. Done. Done. It's a new way of doing, getting things done. All yeah. right. Good stuff there. Fascinating. Heather, thank you.